Well, that was weird. Um, okay, guys, so I don't know if it is going to delete my old video or append it to the end of the... I don't know. I'm not really sure how this works. Anyway, I'm going to start over because I don't know whether you're going to get, like, half the message or not. Anyway, long story short, it is Saturday. It's day six of my 21-day cleanse. Um, I am tuning in here tonight to give you your live at nine update on how it's going. Um, just a quick reminder, guys, right? If you're following along with this journey, if you're considering something like this for yourself, a 21-day cleanse, a seven-day cleanse, um, tackling some sort of new aspect in your own health journey, look back through these videos, right? Um, and they're all labeled the same on my page, so you can see day by day how this experience has been going for me, get some ideas, get some insights into what you might expect if you try it. That's why I'm doing these daily updates, right? Um, so anyway, I'm here in my office with my puppy, and um, just about to wrap up my day six and go to bed really early, like an old lady. Um, but anyway, guys, so I'm on day six. It's Saturday, and today was a little different for me um, because I had a special event to attend this morning. Um, so I had to definitely plan more, which is kind of an understatement. This whole program requires you to plan a lot. Um, but I had to even up it a level more because I knew I was going to be away from the house for about six hours. And I did not want to get hangry uh, while I was away from my food and my supplements, which would leave me really vulnerable to temptation and, um, and just not feeling good. So I got up a little early. I made sure to have a good breakfast. Um, I chose the oatmeal option again um, with the chia seeds or flax seeds. And I threw a couple of walnuts on there for crunch. And I had a couple of blueberries, right? So you can have oatmeal and berries, basically. It was good. That has filled me up really well in the past. Um, so then at my event around... 11 o'clock, I took my second set of supplements and I had packed with me my lunch for day six, which is um, that really delicious quinoa salad, which is like quinoa and cucumbers and tomatoes. And it's really, it's good. It's like a cold salad, kind of like a better version of pasta salad. Um, and then also that humongous microgreen salad. So I had packed both of those in my little cooler bag and taken them with me to this event. So when I got really hungry at 11, um, I took my sups and then went ahead and ate the quinoa salad. That tided me over until we got home. But I'll be honest, by the time I got home at like 1.30, I was pretty, I was on the verge of getting like a hunger headache and, um, and just being cranky. So timing with your meals on this program is really important. Like you want to stick to it as much as possible, understanding that life is going to happen and you can't always be perfect on point. But you want to try because your body is under so much, I hate to say stress, but stress from all the changes you're making that going too long between meals will really, I think, have a bigger effect on you than it would if you were doing it in a normal diet situation, like your normal day-to-day -day diet. Um, so that was lesson learned number one. Don't space your meals out too far. You'll start feeling like crap. Um, so long story short, I had my big ass salad for lunch, which was delicious. I like that microgreen salad a lot. The third cup of pumpkin seeds on it makes it amazing. Um, normally, if I was having that salad in a regular meal, I would have added like chicken or some sort of meat protein. But adding that much um, seeds really gives you the fat that you need and the, the base to kind of balance out all those veggies. Um, so I thought that was awesome. That's something I've definitely learned from this cleanse so far is that you don't always have to have meat at every meal as long as you compensate for it with more healthy fats. Cool. Gives you way more options, right? Um, afternoon, I always forget to take that green thing. I mean, maybe that's intentional because it's kind of gross, but I waited too long to have that. So then that pushed my dinner back late, which is another reason why I'm doing these updates at nine o'clock instead of five. Um... So the big, the big learning lesson from today on day six was at dinner time, actually. Um, after feeling the way I did in the afternoon, I just was not in the mood for the scheduled dinner. Like, it was a roasted root vegetable medley, which sounded fine, except it had onions and beets in it, which are two of my not-so-favorite foods. Um, and it was paired with this zucchini cashew soup. And I don't know what was going on in my brain, but I was just like, dude, I do not want that. I just don't. I was like, I pretty much want anything else except that. Um, I was getting that like 
stubborn mental block going on. But because it's the plan and you follow the plan, um, I went ahead and made it and I'm really glad I did. Because number one, I learned that making that soup is so super simple and it was freaking delicious. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I'll post a picture of it in a minute. It's like a bowl of green mush. I mean, it looks nasty as crap, but um, it was delicious. The flavors were great. The textures were great. It was so easy to make. That's one of the biggest things I'm taking away from this whole experience is I have been afraid of food in the kitchen and preparations and things like that for no reason. I build it up in my mind that these recipes are so much harder than they actually are and that eating healthy has to be so basic. Otherwise, it's going to be like hidden badness in, in the recipe. It's not true. You just have to learn a new way of doing things. And that is what this cleanse is teaching me is a new way to do things. So I had my soup, which was awesome. And then I had that whole medley of sweet potatoes, carrots, golden beets, and onions roasted, <clears throat> roasted in the oven. Freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. I would pair that with anything um, after this cleanse. And I definitely will. I can't even believe I'm saying that. I will re-eat beets at some point in my future life. But it's true. Um, so dinner was great guys. I mean, it was awesome. It took me quite a while to prepare it, uh, cause I wasn't sure what I was doing, but, um, and then I actually spent about another, <clears throat> I don't know, half an hour after that looking through the meal plan for next week. Cause we're going shopping tomorrow and, um, preparing ahead more stuff for next week, like brown rice and quinoa and lentils, things that I didn't prep in advance this week that I'm trying to get ahead of it next week. So I don't spend my entire life in the kitchen, which is kind of how I feel right now. So, overall, I'm still doing really good. Uh, it's definitely challenging. I've noticed, you know, some little cravings creeping in here and there, and then just sort of ups and downs in how you feel. But overall, still really positive and um, making me realize that this is such a good thing to push myself out of my comfort zone when it comes to food because I've been half assing it for so long. I mean, I've been on this fitness journey for years now, but I haven't really fully committed to the food part. Um, ever. And so this is really the first time that I'm just sticking with it straight up and going to see what happens and enjoy the benefits of actually following the plan like you should. Go figure. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in and I will chat with you tomorrow. Bye.